One of the biggest challenges when making connections in panels that don't have wire ducts is how do you take this balled up mess and turn it into something like this. So we're going to go through a little bit of that today of how we do it. The key is to start by just connecting one side and leaving the other side loose. And then route them how you want them through here. And then begin tie wrapping them. Start off with loosely tie all of them together. As they are coming out, we want to make sure we like the way all of them look. And once you're happy with it, go ahead and tighten that first one down. Then you take your second one. Tighten it down right beside, but not fully tight, just one click away from being completely tight. And then I like to slide them about two inches apart, then tighten that one. And then we're just going to repeat this process. And the goal is, as you slide them up, not to let any of the wires cross. That way the same wires are in a line all the way up. Alright, once you have it at the length you want, make sure all your wire labels are towards the wire tie. Make sure the length you want the final, and then stick a wire tie right at that point. Now this one isn't as important that they're perfectly lined up, because we're going to take it back off. But you do want this one firm. All right. Now take and cut them right along there. And now, they're all even, and you can see we'll have a nice clean thing. This is a ground terminal that actually bonds it to the back. What do you think? Gorgeous. Then we'll just need to heat shrink these labels. Make sure they're all lined up exactly where you want them. And then we'll just heat them up a little bit. Rotate them all real nicely. Get them at the right height. Beautiful. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber. We run the automation store. Be sure to visit our support section for more great articles and videos. And view our line of PLC cables and trainers, simulators, repair services, surplus inventory, charity auctions, and more.